Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me, and they're not an engraver, they're a printer or sublimation person. And this would actually work for engraving, but you'd have to you know, get your photos ready. And they wanted to know how to make a collage of photos in Corel Draw. I'm just going to make an easy one with just three photographs. I'm just going to draw an ellipse. Let's zoom in here. I'm going to take my two point line. And I'm going to go to the center, hold down my control button, and make a line straight up and down. Whoop. Then I'm going to take my line, I'm going to go control, control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to move the rotation to the center, and I'm going to rotate that line 120 degrees. Then I'm going to hit control D again. Now, these aren't containers yet uh, to put a power clip into. So what you do, go to your smart fill tool. Put no fill and specify half a point black. So I'm going to make a power clip. I'm going to nudge it over. I'm going to make a power clip frame, nudge it over. Basically, it's a fill. So these are containers. Now, we can actually get rid of these lines now. We don't need them anymore. Or you could keep them. And I'll show you why you might want to keep them in a second. Anyway, we're going to take this first photograph. And we're going to power clip, so we're going to go to Arrange, Power Clip, Place in Fight Frame. And that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and edit it. And you'll see the blue lines that kind of get the young man in the center of the page. We're going to take our next one, go to Arrange, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame. And put it right there, and that looks pretty good. Then we're going to take one more. Let's make this a little bit smaller, as long as it fits. Arrange, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame. And then you could still edit it and move the boys over. Actually move them down, get a few more faces in there. And then just continue. Then what you could do is nudge them back over. Nudging that one right, nudging that one up. And you've got a collage of pictures. Now I actually like it where the pictures are butting up. So we can go no outline. And now the pictures just kind of butt up to each other and don't have a line between them. So that's how you can make a collage and you could still, you haven't messed anything up, you could grab that one and edit it and move the young man down a little bit. And you could do this with engravable pictures if you've already you know, run them through Photograve or through Corel and got them ready to laser. This would work with an engraver, but this would definitely work for somebody making a t-shirt or sublimation. I've made a little mistake right there. I uh, should have moved the picture down, but we can edit it and just move the picture down a little bit. Now we can maybe stretch the picture a little bit and then go. And now we've got a perfect collage of pictures. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.